So my dad borrowed my welder, and he procrastinates a lot, so it'll probably be a little while until I get it back. So, what's another option for welding? I know a way. Let's do it right now. Okay, so I have a bunch of car batteries that I've been collecting, and th they should be very useful for supplying power. I have some welding rods I got out of a dumpster. Actually, my grandpa did, and he gave them to me. I have a welding electrode holder, which will be very good for keeping the wires from melting. And I have several jumper cables. These are the cheapy kind, just like the $8 ones. Now, first of all, what we want to do is we want to upgrade one of these cables, because we don't want to have two alligator clips on the end. We want to have an alligator clip to hook to the battery, and we want to have one that has this electrode holder on this end. Because the problem is, trying to hold a welding rod with one of these is, is just, it's a pain in the butt. And if you do end up getting it stuck on there, there's not much connection on there, so you just start melting your alligator clip, and that doesn't work too well. So it's much better to just get a proper connector, or if you can find something else that would work too, you can use that. But this will hold this awesomely, and it'll give you plenty of connection. So you open this up, and inside of here, it comes with a little tool with it. You have this little screw thingy that goes in and out. And so it's really simple. You just put this onto the wire. Twist the wire. I've already stripped the wire, too. Now, unfortunately, this wire is very, very thin, but hey, it's a cheapy brand jumper cable, so whatever. I don't care if it gets blown up. We tighten this down. That's stuck in there. And there we go. We can connect the welding rods into there in whatever configuration we want because there's little grooves inside of there. On to the next step. Now as for these jumper cables, we're not going to be modifying them much at all. We're just going to be using them to connect the batteries together. So you can just use the regular jumper cables from your car if you want, because you don't have to worry about tearing these ones up too much, I hope. So now how we're hooking this up, you want to hook up the batteries in series, so it adds the voltages together. So basically, You'll connect this to positive or whatever you're wanting. And so this will then be connected to the battery. I mean, uh, it's connected to the battery already. And then when it, uh, you, you'll connect the negative to whatever you're wanting to weld. And that'll be okay. But the problem is, that'll be very low voltage. So what you do then is you connect the negative to a positive and then use the negative. That's 24 volts. Negative to positive and use a negative. That's 36 volts, and, and then take that, or, or if you take that negative to this positive and take, and take that uh, negative, that would be 48 volts, and that would give you so much more power. So, first test with one battery, meaning 12 volts. Test 2 with 24 volts and 2 batteries. Now let's try 36 volts with three batteries.
So now we're going all out. We're going to do 48 volts with all four batteries in series. I hope they stay together and don't blow up. <laughs> So there you have the welds. There's the uh, first one, and there's the second one, a little more messy. And that burned a hole through the metal pretty nicely. It's pretty thick steel. I have to say, I'm pretty happy with this. Although I would rather, I would be a lot more happy if I had a charger system that could charge the batteries at the same time, which I actually happen to do. Because whenever I bought my electric bicycle battery, or my my electric bicycle hub motor kit. I actually got a 50 volt power supply with it, so that would work perfectly. And to be honest, I've never welded with a stick welder before, so a lot of the issues you may, you may see me having in this in that video was not necessarily me knowing how to stick weld and there being an issue with the welding, but more just me trying to figure out how to stick weld. I think if someone actually knew how to stick weld, they could probably do this pretty easily. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!